One of the hardest things that I find about doing poetry is that when you recite it, you have to get back into the emotion and to the time when you wrote it. Mm. And I wrote this back like last week. I and after the first time I, I, I performed it, it was like a big release. Like I felt so much more better about myself. Um, but let's see if I can get back into it. Um, this poem pretty much is about sometimes or most of the time I don't feel like I'm enough. Mm. And this is what it's all about. <laughs> this is on video. Yeah. All right. Here go me or you too. <laughs> <laughs> These clothes I don't need, but I must have because I'll, because it'll break my facade to just wear a hoodie sweat. Now ain't that just shitty? Cause she can just rock some rock some baggy sweats to get my attention, but I gotta dress to the nines to get even a bat of an eye out of people. Oh. To know that my presence here means something. And I'm buy into it. I need my creative reps that go just right with my skinny Levi's, my club mom with pee my sweater, and my mother cord wash just to look fly. Mm. I need my hair to be cut and maintain every two weeks to be ready to be looked at because without these mutual things that should not matter, I feel that I'm not enough. Because from the time I stop believing in myself, my shame has manifested itself in my performance for extreme perfectionism to protect myself. I have to be above extraordinary to blend in with the crowd so they don't see. I have to be amazing to be considered decent so they can't tell. I have to spill out my most profound experiences to be considered interesting. And I need to have thousands of Facebook friends to feel like I belong when I see zero of them on campus. And most days, I don't even talk to people because I do see you walking on campus. I see you standing in front of me in class and I see you behind me. And when I look back, I tell myself they see me too. But when we walk by, we don't see each other. We, we don't, I'm sorry, we don't see each other. We look through. Like we can't acknowledge and share in our pain and sorrow, joy and laughter. <clears throat> but when I ask my friends about love, it doesn't matter who we are. We talk about heartbreak. Talk to me and we can talk forever. And I'd rather know my capacity for vulnerability than to hope and try, only to be defeated again and again and again. Because to me, it's easier to live disappointed than to feel disappointment. Mm. And I hate this because I can't selectively numb emotion. When I numb grief, shame, and disappointment, I also numb joy, gratitude, and happiness, and I am fucking miserable. I hate making the, cer I hate making the uncertain certain. I hate expecting that my first date will be terrible because of me. I hate, I hate expecting that she'll leave me. And I hate pretending that my life is perfect and that what I do won't have a huge impact on people because I just want to say to you, I'm sorry, I'll fix it. Because if I treat myself this way, I don't even want to imagine how I'm going to raise my children. And I need to stop these, I need, and I need to drop these false pretenses and stop pretending that everything is okay when it's not. That it is okay to be imperfect and be vulnerable and recognize that I am enough and I am worthy of love, belonging, and joy. I want to have the courage to tell you my story authentically, to connect with you and not be ashamed of it, to love with my whole heart, even though there is no guarantee, to practice gratitude and joy, because to feel this vulnerable means that I am alive and that I am enough. To let go of who I'm supposed to be and embrace who I am. Just like James Baldwin said, love takes off masks that we fear we cannot live without and know that we cannot live within. Thank you.